hey everyone welcome back to the channel today i have something very nice and very inspiring at least to me to share with you i grouped a few of my books that i purchased in the past few months and i thought they had a similar themes uh, if i can say so so I thought it was also a good way of breaking a bit with the swatching videos since you seem to enjoy my book videos they are between the most watched videos I have here on the channel so I hope you enjoy this one as well that being said I would like to thank everyone that has been following me here liking the videos commenting we just passed the thousand uh, followers in the past few weeks and I was super excited. I, to be honest, I didn't know when I started on this journey where it would lead me to. And I'm very happy to still be here and to have you following me and enjoying the content. And I really appreciate it. So that being said, if you are watching this video and you haven't uh, subscribed yet, consider subscribing if you, if you enjoy the content like the video the notification button all of that will help me and i love reading your comments so comment to your heart's uh, content i will read all of them now let's start the first book i have here is uh, called gnomes the edition that i have is in italian because at the time when I bought it, um, I could not find one in English. I bought it actually in Italy. This seems to be a very popular book um, in Italy. The original one was written in Dutch. The author is called, the authors are here. I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name. It was originally published in 1976 or 78, yes, yeah, 78. But I have good news for you because I went to check on Amazon and this book is due to be released in English in October this year. So you'll find a link here below to the pre-order for this book. So if you are interested, you can also uh, add it to your list. And then around October when it's available, you can buy or you can purchase it now and it will be sent to you around October. So it's a very beautiful book. And so I'm super happy that there is this English edition coming, uh, so more people can read it. So I'll leave the links for all of the books that I mentioned here on the on this video. So this is like a it's a um, old style kind of book. As I said, it's been published in the in the late seventies. So you notice that the illustrations are have a particular style that you can soon like see that they are they are vintage uh, you know what I mean so but what I really like about this book is that it describes all of the world of the gnomes in all the tiniest li little details that you can possibly imagine so for example here they're talking about how they have breakfast and you hear you see here there are all the the things mentioned and they will be described here and there's a mix between um, traditional fonts and calligraphy that I find it's also really nice so it looks a bit like someone did a study on the subject and then the, you're kind of reading their um, study notes or something like that you know so it's a, a really beautiful book. You see here, have more calligraphy. And it, it tells you everything. If you are into this type of um, folklore, it's really, um, it's really fascinating. I was um, hooked. I started reading this book and I could not stop because I found fascinating how someone could think of all of these details of course i think that they also did research on the existing legends and folklore because gnomes are present in different uh, folklores so but even so it's it's really look how nice it is here they are talking about all the 
<laughs> diseases and uh, the natural remedies they use, how they are used. It's so, uh, look at this. It's really a, f a fascinating book. Look, there's even the song. They talk even how they go to, <laughs> how long they live, how how they build their houses, how they, their toilet toilet works. It's, it's like anything you can think of. It's in this book, and they talk also about the different types of um, gnomes that li live in um, in different uh, regions. So I'm doing just a, a quick uh, flip through here, so you have an idea. But it's really, look at this here. Talk about what they eat. So yeah, it's a really rich look at this. This is a design of a gnome house under a tree, and you can see here all of the places are described in detail. It's really a fascinating book in my opinion, so I, I really enjoyed it and I, I hope if you um, end up reading it you will enjoy it too. It seems to be very popular in Italy as well. I saw um, some Amazon reviews, a lot of people were uh, commenting that they read it when they were kids, so I think uh, probably people that were kids around the 70s and 80s, but that's the first one. Now, the second one is this beautiful book here. It's called Fairies of the Fault Lines, as observed and documented by Iris Compiet. It's quite a thick book also, big one. This one also has um, kind of um, a mix, like I mentioned, between calligraphy and regular um, fonts. So also give this idea of um, study sketchbook, like you are reading someone's notes um, kind of thing. I haven't read this one yet, but when I saw the illustrations, I thought it was uh, really unique, so I wanted to have it. And the illustrations on this book, I don't know, it reminds me a lot of the worlds of um, Guillermo del Toro, if you think of uh, like uh, Pan's Labyrinth, for example, you know the creature. I find it, um, it really brings this back, um, brings this uh, image to me. So you have here a lot of um, different illustrations uh, talking about these uh, beings, not only uh, the say fairies, but there's different uh, kind of uh, forest or uh, beings uh, and they are described here, but it's kind of uh, I don't know, a bit, a bit more um, dark and poetic in a sense. It's a bit more um, adult uh, geared, I would say, this one. So I'm just gonna flip through this one so you can have the look at this. This is the one that I think this is the one that is uh, not but similar, similar colors. So it has a lot of unique um, illustrations and the descriptions also. I really enjoy this type of books that talk about a, s a specific universe and give it all of the details. Look at this. This also reminds me of Pan's Labyrinth. Um, so yeah really unique book and I think that these illustrations were done um, with watercolor traditionally at least 
that's how it looks like. I see a lot of um, wet on wet and some granulation also. Look at this here. You can, I hope you can see all the granulation, you see? So yeah, this really looks like mixed media with a base of watercolor. So also related to the channel, which is great. And so we have inspiration on both topics, um, illustration, writing, and also why not watercolor techniques. Look at these transitions. Isn't this beautiful? The background, look how many colors are here. Love it. Black, red, yellow, really beautiful. So yeah, it's really an, a feast for the eyes, this book. There's a lot of, lots, lots to look at. Look at this night scene. I really want to practice painting more night scenes, so it's good to have uh, some reference like this to look at. This looks a bit like that um, painting, um, painting, I'm sorry, that paint uh, from Daniel Smith, Moonglow. Kind of looks like this tone, but look how they use, um, I think might be like white ink or something to have this fog effect. So yeah, it's really inspiring book as well. Look at this monochromatic painting. Kind of makes me think of the ring. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's a really beautiful book and I can't wait to start reading it as well. It's uh, very inspiring on many levels to me and I hope you enjoy it if you if you get it look at this the color combinations and everything even if it's just to look at color palettes or techniques alone it's it's worth already so this was fairies of the thought lines now the last three books i have they are from the same series of uh, books they are the only three i believe and i got <laughs> all of the three because i just could not choose only one they were all so beautiful the first one is also about fairies you see there's a theme going on here <laughs> i got um, really into books about fairies in the past months and this one is beautifully um, made I don't know if you can see in the video, but this is a fabric covered book. It has all these details in gold. And you can see here, the pages are also gold. So it's really beautiful and big book. And this one is by Emily Hawkins and Jessica Rue. So also same style like the previous one has this uh, little tag here where you could add your name if you want to and then it describes also all of uh, the about the universe of fairies so it's talking about what are the fairies the anatomy the types of wings life cycle habitats the types of uh, different uh, fairies that live in different habitats, how is their life, garden, their relationship with animals, there's a bit of everything. And it's done, all of the three books in this collection, they are done in this way where uh, it starts with someone writing a story like you found someone's diary or something of that sort, you know, so it also has a bit of calligraphy. So you see that uh, all of these books, they have some similarities between them. They have this um, kind of a scientific approach, but at the same time, um, there's this personal touch, I think. So you can see here, it's a different style of illustration. This is a bit more um, geared towards children, 
but also very nice uh, illustrations with some muted colors look at this page when i saw this i was really like yeah i want this book <laughs> i don't know if you've seen here i have previous videos where i paint butterflies and i found this was really nice to show the different types of wings of the fairies i cannot show everything at one go because the book is so big and yeah so that's a lot here you can see all the types of fairies the life cycle how they uh, they hide between the vegetation this page also i find it very nice you have the different uh, fairies in the different regions of the world look at this it's really really um whimsical and i think children must love this type of book i would have loved it when i was a when i was a child so yeah you have lots of um, info here about this um, look you have even like their letters mm -hmm. it goes to all of the details you can think of their e animals so it's also i think a lot of uh, inspiration if you want to draw things related to fairies and stuff like that you can find you know themes in the book and um, jungle fairies look at this So yeah, it's a really beautiful book and if you enjoy fairies, I'm sure you're gonna like it. Now, let me put it aside. The next one is about mermaids. So this is a natural history of mermaids. And something I didn't mention in the previous book, but all of them have, is they also have this satin bookmark. So you see it's a really um it looks like a really fancy book but uh it was not that expensive uh to be honest i'll leave the link here below on amazon so you can check it out and i think for the price they are really really well made you can see this one also is by emily hawkins and jessica rue and this one has silver but also holographic details and the same goes here look at this so i think it also goes a bit with the theme of mermaids uh, this type of color so i know we are not in may anymore where everybody's drawing mermaids and stuff but you can also use this book as inspiration nevertheless same thing here it uh, has all of the um, topics related to mermaids so we have the sightings what are mermaids their anatomy the type of tales behavior homes food siren all type of things about merfolk underwater garden there's just and it starts like the other book with this type of diary someone traveling in a ship and taking notes illustrations are the same style but what i really like on this book that it has some very particular um, mermaids like this one for example look how it's beautiful i think that's kind of uh, based on animals from the region because this one is the from the frozen north so yeah look speckled like a macro so yeah it's not it goes away from the usual stereotype of mermaids it has different things to see which i really appreciate you even talk about the fiji mermaid here <laughs> which is um i wouldn't call it a cryptid it's maybe more like um, it's like the jackalope forgot the name well i'll, I'll leave it here <laughs> when i when i add the video and yeah look i'm talking about look at all types of mermaids look the anatomy 
look at this this page was the one that sold me on this book when i saw it on amazon the different type of tails i love this type of uh, things like the wings for the fairies and now the tails for the mermaids i find it really nice if sometimes you run out of ideas you know and these are tails that are similar to either corals or animals now these look a bit like a type of seahorse also this is a seahorse no, this is, reminds me more of like a lobster seal. So, you know, you associate with animals and you can create different types of illustrations. This um, book is a bit more... Um, it has uh, some also muted colors like the previous one, but this is heavy on the blues, you can see, but <laughs> it's expected since we're talking about mermaids. The other one was more on the green side. Look at this also, this page about the shells. I love drawing um, anything related to sea. Fish, algae, coral reefs, all of that, love it. so. And look at this mermaid, so colorful. It's the mandarin, um, and I think it's um, inspired by a, a fish as well. Look at this. So yeah, you have a lot of different types of mermaids, and here they are also divided by region. You can see. Sorry about. If I'm making noise with the book, but I need to keep moving so you can have everything on frame. So yeah, there's there's a lot to see. I'm gonna just flip through the rest of the book. In the deep sea, look at this. Yeah, it's even a mermaid with a um, little light like that um, anglerfish, I believe it's called. So yeah lots of fun love it algae i love drawing this type of thing so yeah really beautiful book and now the last one in the collection that i think i dare to say is my favorite is this one here a Natural History of Magic by Poppy David and Jessica Rue. And here underline it's magic with a CK. So to differentiate from the stage magic, you know, bunny in a hat kind of thing. You will see what's about. It's the same style as the previous ones. And ah, sorry, forgot to show you. This one has kind of a um, copper details and then also the copper on the pages and this one has an orange um, satin ribbon so yeah like I was showing before it has the same um, first page and then you have all of the contents over here so it's talking about magic in ancient uh, Egypt, classical age, Africa, Middle East, modern magic. Then you talk about um, it talks about divination, uh, tarot, astrology, numerology, charms, weather, al alchemy, potions, and then all of symbolism like sun, moon, the elements, crystals. It's it's really um, has a bit of everything. So talk about also figures like Merlin here. And I, I really liked, I started reading this one, haven't finished yet. But I really like this part talking about the different um, cultures, you know, and uh, magic in the different uh, cultures. Talk the Romans, Africa. I really appreciate they included a bit of every um, different uh, et ethnical background because there are things that I wouldn't have known otherwise. Um, look, Little Mansi. Little 
tarot love this i'm very fasc fascinated with the imagery of tarot i don't read tarot i don't get tarot readings but i like i don't know the idea behind the images and the meanings and cards i i had some essays when i was in university of uh, literature where i was using tarot to do some symbology comparison to to some some books um, was really interesting i i like this type of um, i don't know <laughs> i'm i'm rambling but yeah i like this type of um, symbolism let's say like that he is talking also about the zodiac which i also love i had some series of illustrations in the past where i did all of the signs of the zodiac and numerology what else charms alchemy talking about potions astrology look at this sun how it's beautiful so yeah, I don't know, this one really speaks to me. There's a lot of things in moon phases. I really like this, all this type of, um, I don't know how to call it, but yeah, magic, this uh, magic with a CK uh, knowledge. Crystals, amulets, the plants. Look, sacred trees. There's a lot of nice references here also to draw from. The familiars. Ley lines. So, yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot to see here in this book. And even though if it's something that you're not particularly interested as a subject, I think. I don't know, even the illustrations and the way the everything is described and I don't know, I find it uh, really nice as I found all of the, the three books in this collection and if they ever release a fourth one, I'll probably be buying because I really like this type of um, book. I'm a, oh, I, I mentioned in other uh, videos as well, I love natural history type of books. So yeah, even though this is not a true um, natural history book, I really enjoyed it. So, um, what I was going to say is, before I finish this video, and uh, these books gave me an idea. I have um, bought, on my last trip to Amsterdam, I got a bit carried away. <laughs> and I went to some um, flea markets, which I love, by the way, love um going to flea markets thrift stores charity shops all of that and i got these beautiful tins over here they are cigar tins i believe and look at this has details on the inside and they were really good priced also Consider what they charge for these uh, on Etsy or even here in Ireland when I find them I was really happy to find those and I have a plan for those. I want to use them to build um, some custom uh, watercolor palettes And what I'm telling you this now is because I had this idea of building team themed palettes. So the first one I want to build It's a magic one I want to build a palette around this concept of magic and about the colors associated with it, about the themes that we saw here, you know, crystals and um, the moon and tarot and all of that. So I want to build uh, a themed custom palette about that. And I might do the same also for gnomes and fairies. I think these ones go well together because they are kind of um, in the same realm, if I can say and uh, yeah i wanted to share this with you because i 
I plan on doing a future video where I'm gonna be showing you um, the colors that I chose and the palette and maybe do some artwork with the colors and all of that so yeah as it's associated with these beautiful books I wanted to, to mention this now at the end of this video and yeah I hope you enjoyed the content if you did please give me that thumbs up leave your comments if you have any suggestions of other books I should check out or that you enjoy please let us know here and I'll see you in the next video